All right, hello, wine drinking people. We are back, and we've got our friends from Cobrand in the store. These guys have got an outstanding portfolio of wine, French, Spanish, Italian, California stuff, everything, you know, at the highest level. Well, they do have Alize also, some brands that are targeted toward ethnic markets and uh, sweet, uh, you know, alcoholic stuff sells. What can I say? you got to have your money makers. But the wines here, Don Oligario, uh, the Albarino from Rias Baixas, uh, really nice little wine, kind of a toasted kind of grain, almost a beer kind of nuance to the pear and green apple fruits. And a uh, <clears throat> note of green herb and kind of spice there, so uh, sea salt rather. Uh, nice light spritz on the tongue, lemon, lime, citrus fruits, and uh, really fresh and clean. Kind of a ginger spice there on the finish as well. Really good little Albarino, and uh, that was 24 bucks. Kind of expensive for Albarino, but really good. All right, uh, next up we had Michele Chiarlo, Barbera di Asti La Corte. This is uh, one of their more prestigious label, uh, labels of Barbera here, La Corte, a single vineyard. Good amount of dark plum and cherry-like fruit on the nose. Hints of black truffle and kind of cocoa spice there. A nice amount of that berry fruit showing on the palate with really good freshness. Uh, one of the things Barbera is known for is acidity, but uh, at 48.75, man, phew, we were expecting a little more from this wine. 06, a great vintage from the Piedmonts. All right, the Barolo Tour Antonio, and uh, this is uh, there's three different Barolos that these guys do. This is the entry level. Uh, three different single barrel. Three different single vineyard Barolos. This is the entry level. I'm sorry, two single vineyards. This is the entry level, which is a blend of the two. All right, we'll get that out yet. 18 months in French oak, and you notice that French oak on the back of the palate on these young Barolos, that tannin from the oak. But this wine had a nice, healthy bouquet of red cherry and truffle, kind of like earth aromas, notes of red licorice and oriental spice there. Really exotic, really pretty bouquet. Uh, smooth and velvety on the tongue with excellent freshness, kind of liqueur-like uh, cherry fruit. Fine tannins, a long finish. This wine's got everything in proportion. It just needs a little time. Excellent juice here, the Barolo 2006. All right, next up, the Feudo Macari Saya. Uh, this is uh, Nero Diavolo from Sicily, and a uh, new winer from the folks at Sette Ponti, and a good amount of dark spice here on the nose, dried meat-like aromas, uh, dark cocoa, sun-dried black plum, damp earth there, really deep, dark, and fruit on the palate with a uh, brown spice, firm tannins, Really a lot of stuffing here. Uh, really nice long finish. Excellent depth. Uh, excellent little Nero Diavolo there. 36 bucks. Abida Retuerta. Kind of jumping all over the wine world here. To Spain now. To Sardon de Duero. And this wine is a blend of 75% Tempranillo, 5% Merlot, and the rest Cabernet Sauvignon. They just make two wines here at the Abida Retuerta. The Rivola is their other wine. But outstanding wines. I mean, uh, some of the better values you can find. Uh, you know, $21 for this wine. A really excellent little bottle of wine. Notes of smoky, toasty oak to the wild strawberry jam-like fruit on the nose. Sweet tobacco spice. Kind of a caramel-like nuance there. Kind of really complex bouquet. Really smooth and polished on the tongue with a, a nice hand of acidity keeping things fresh through the finish. And that toasty oak spice was well showing. A little bit dry there, but a really good little bottle of Sardin de Duero. All right, next up, Rota 1, the Reserva. And this is a winer. They made a Rota 1. They made Rota 2. And now they just make Rota and Rota 1 as to make it any less confusing for you. Which one is better, Rota or Rota 1? Oh, the more expensive one is Rota 1. Not necessarily the better one, but, uh, you know, this wine had a really thick bouquet of black cherry and wild strawberry-like fruits. Really rich and ripe with uh, smoked meats and kind of flor fresh floral aromas. Nice complexity here. Rota, since the first vintage, I think, 94, has really uh, become one of the top estates in Rioja, making, you know, some of the best wines almost in every vintage. Uh, really smooth and polished on the palate. Wonderful freshness. This wine's got a lot of time to go in the cellar. An excellent bottle of Rioja. All right, coming up next, we've got the folks from Gallo.